Okay, um, this is a short, uh, another example for the genetic algorithm in combination with the cycles tool. So in this case, uh, we are using uh, the futures e-mini contract here on an intraday chart, on a four minute chart. So we see here the activity uh, back from um, October the 4th back to September 30. So one week, uh, one full trading week of four minute bars here on the uh, E mini futures. So let's see uh, and apply our genetic engine here. So I just did it. So and in this case, um, I'm using an example here um, of a composite cycle. So now we want to trade a composite cycle, but um, at the end we don't know which cycle or cycle combination um, is driving the markets here. So and for this um, situation, we use the genetic algorithm here. So. Um, first of all, our composite cycle is based on two cycles here. So the first cycle um, is allowed to have uh, yeah, genes or the length value of this cycle is allowed to um, yeah, mutate between 30 and 100 bars. So this is the uh, 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 range for the mutation of this gene. So the first cycle can have a length between 30 and 100, this is a fixed amplitude. And this is the phase, so where the cycle starts. And in this case here, uh, it can start at any bar. So to review the full spectrum, here it can mutate between one and 100. So the full cycle length here. So this is the first cycle. And then we add a second cycle here to get a composite plot. And for the second cycle, even the length is not known. So and the second cycle um, can mutate between the uh, same values. So another cycle between 30 and 100 bars. Uh, just a small amplitude, but the amplitude is fixed, doesn't matter here. And the phase, so the offset for the second cycle is also set between 1 and 100 to get the full length. So at the end, we get one composite cycle uh, based on two individual cycles here. Um, uh, detected by the uh, genetic algorithm and the second line is just the trading so the buy chromosome we will buy the bottoms of the composite cycle and we use the same for cell chromosomes here so our cell statement is the same we have a composite cycle here just the other way around so we are selling tops of the composite cycle here so uh, just a quite easy composite cycle for buying and selling so no exit long exit short to keep the the example simple here um, just to see the possible system count we have about uh, over 200 billion of possible combinations as we com can combine every cycle length uh, for the composite and each phase uh, offset for the buy and the sell uh, composite cycle, we get a total of over yeah, just approximately 300 billion of com system combinations here. So this is quite a large search, search space to look for interesting systems here. So the fitness functions, as you're familiar with, um, can be coded individually. So here mainly I'm using uh, the system quality number which gives us um, a very important information if we have a good trading system and it's based on the ideal equity curve. So I'm looking for a trading system which has a quite linear upsloping equity curve and the more trades the better. So these, these tr three elements are just summarized um, and this represents our fitness function here. So for sure you can tweak it to, to any count but I would like um, upsloping equity curves here. Um, so, th the another important point here is, um, so the other thing is here, j I just uh, have started this uh, evaluation, so with the evaluate, you, we will uh, start the genetic engine with the population, which then um, yeah, is optimizing the same population against the fitness criteria, so the survival of the fittest, where mutation and crossover happens. Um, and then we have to monitor what uh, the genetic al algorithm um, tweaks out of this combination. So just keep in mind, we have a possible system count of over 300 or 200 a billion of possible system. And 
the species shows us where the best parents have been found. So, and I want to just show you that after just seconds after the genetic algorithm has run, uh, we find interesting uh, systems here. So, and I just stopped after five minutes uh, running this genetic algorithm till the population was mutated at crossover. So, just after four minutes of running this check, we we have uh, um, yeah found interesting systems here with nice uh, statistics, profit will profit factor. Uh, 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 and trades about 80 trades for one week of a uh, four minute bars here. So now let's have a look at the statistics. So the top 10 system, which have been tweaked out, so let's start with the first one, gave us a net profit of over 80 S&P futures points, profitability uh, of over 60%, profit factor of 2.7, 80 trades, so similar long and short trades as we are trading cycles here. And which a great system quality number of yeah, approximately a value of three, and which give us an um, simulated trade size of five percent equity growth. So what's more interesting here now, if we if we browse this system here, as you can see, the um, equity curve is shown here down below. So um, here you see the trades on the equity curve here, and this is what you can expect as our fitness function. Um, searches for genomes which uh, come close to an ideal upsloping equity curve here, so sh upsloping line, which great uh, system quality number and, and the most trades possible. You see here that the equity curve, um, this trading generates as yeah, more than ideal um, and it's switching between long and short trades uh, for the same time here. So if you compare this on the time chart, so this is the futures account. Uh, just keep in mind, this is the weekend here, so we have no data over the weekend. So this is the linear time view on these trades during the last weeks. And you see here how the futures uh, behaved um, during the last week. And you see here that our trading system, which switched between long and short, just uh, straight um, upsloping here. So um, for sure these uh, signals can be shown on the chart here. So these are the uh, yeah, composite cycles which have been detected and here you can clearly see all the uh, trade signals which have been uh, executed. So you can see here nicely the, the, the swing trading system here how the uh, tops and lows um, yeah, have been identified by these cycles here. So um, this is a very interesting approach uh, because in this case we are not using digital system or digital uh, um, 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 signal processing engines like Fourier or Wavelet or whatever to look into the past to detect the cycles active. In this case we are, we are um, using a genetic algorithm uh, with special scripts where we can tweak out um, yeah, from a genetic point of view which cycles have been uh, worked best. So, And for each system we see here the scripts, so the cycles detected here. So you can easy now um, put this into your favorite trading system or even charting platform. I mean this is a quite simple script um, by using this uh, genetic algorithm here. So um, you can browse just the other systems here. So these are just the top 10 um, genomes found. I mean the equity curve looks quite similar. So you can just review a little bit what, what the systems um, differ. So um, this is just another example of the genetic algorithm, how we are able um, yeah, to, to get uh, for interesting situ situations where we have a search space of 300 billion of possible system. And I mean, uh, based on the um, yeah, genetic algorithm, which is a very great uh, feature here, we can tweak out very interesting um, trading systems in about two to four minutes. And this makes it especially interesting for intraday trading because uh, normally you would not be able to check 300 billion uh, system combination each day to prepare for your intraday trading. So um, I hope this gives you another interesting point of view on the genetic algorithm in the combination with cycles. Thanks for listening.